as other countries uh, still block players from going to the African Cup of Nations, as has become the case with Inyaki Williams, Kudus Mohamed has a niggling injury. Other countries are releasing their players nicely. Chelsea have released Nicholas Jackson to Senegal. He has joined the camp and is playing with them. Uh, the news is also that Manchester United are holding out for Andre Onana to play uh, for the club on the 14th of January. 15th, Cameroon have their very first game versus Guinea in the African Cup of Nations. These European clubs are being childish and stubborn. You knew ahead of time your player would be going to the African Cup of Nations. Why stall them from going? I just don't get it. That being said, uh, the Ghana Black Stars team has landed in Kumase. They landed last night from the videos that, that were uploaded uh, just a couple of hours ago. They arrived in the evening and 14 players were in camp as at the time i saw that video and counted the players we'll take you through the 14 players that way in camp for the ghana black stars we're also going to talk about the friendly game versus namibia and the black stars realistic chances heading into the african cup of nations as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it and first talk about the 14 players that arrived in kumase or say chrome uh, as it is called the 14 players were uh, with the coach and technical team coach chris huting mas udidi dramani and also uh, with uh, uh, george boating they were in Kumase last night. Richard Olile Kingston as well. Goalkeepers trainer was there. Two goalkeepers have arrived in camp. Only Richard Ofori is not in here. Joe Wallacott and Lawrence Atizigi were spotted at the airport. Majid Ashimeru, Salis Abdul Samed, Nicolas Opoku of Amiens, um, Salisu of La, and uh, Baba Hidrisu in La La Liga. Gideon Mensa also plies his trade in France. He's was also in the Jonathan uh, Sowa and Fatau Hamidu, both of Mediama IC. Uh, Captain Andre Ayu also was spotted at the airport. Joseph Pinto, Ernest Nwama, and Alidu Seidu. So 14 players are in Kumasi right now. Camp has opened officially today. Probably will have a recovery training session today. Today will be their very first training session. And then tomorrow they continue as they're preparing Ernest for that game versus Namibia. Speaking of Namibia, they themselves played a friendly this morning with Legon City's local club Legon City here in Accra. The game ended 1-1. Legon City's took the lead before Namibia equalized late on in the 90th minute it was a great run out for the namibian national team and uh, uh, we wish them all the very best and uh, happy camping in ghana the black stars realistic chances the truth of the matter and i've stated it all for you is that i am not going to raise my hopes that much i think ghana have been unfortunately mad with injuries and players opting out it has not been the best preparation for this african cup of nations i've always been an advocate for an afcon where clubs in europe or else across the world where ghana has influential players pause and allow the players to play their football for africa without having to think about making a decision between their country and their club side that being said that's a situation find ourselves in where athletic bilbao and stalling in Ake williams release where kudus mohammed is having an angling injury that needs to be assessed by west ham uh, where brighting and uh, their coach uh, was doing a back of war words uh, with our coach on whether he doesn't watch the premier league or not harry glamty situation and all that that has not helped our preparation. Baba Rahman, also one of the players who declined uh, just to take care of himself. It's not the best of preparation for the African Cup of Nations. And I have to say, that is why I don't fancy Ghana here. That is probably when Ghana would surprise me. And yeah, hooray if that happens. And hooray if I am wrong. But I do not see us going very far in this African Cup of Nations. I'm going to Ivory Coast. Uh, to enjoy the football, to enjoy the atmosphere, to enjoy the people. If Ghana somehow does perform well, I'll be excited. But I am not holding 
my breath on that. That being said, realistically, I'm looking at a quarterfinal berth for Ghana in these African Cup of Nations. I'll bring you my full AFCON prediction and the winner in another video. But that is where, realistically, I see Ghana finishing in the quarter final let me know what you think in the comments box the preparation have not been the best the almost optimal coach chris Huting is working uh, but he's struggling to work with what he has we wish him all the very best but no one will fault him if ghana does not do well he has the players who are doing well for their club side uh, but uh, the preparation with them is very very limited january 8th versus namibia babaira sports stadium the time i will communicate it when i do have it but that is it there i'll see you guys in the next one have a great week enjoy the rest of your evening